Man, I thought he was cute before. Look at this peacock, tell me he's broke. And I know you ain't <laughs> Such a good night. I have never been happier. I in the pouring I'm gonna get really emotional talking about it. I don't want to cry. Oh my god, I need to pull myself together. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's weekly vlog and I'm actually starting this on a Sunday because um, I have I have stuff to do, I'm doing stuff today and I wanted to film it, I say today, it's currently 4 o'clock, I'm basically going out tonight and kind of wanted to vlog it or like vlog me getting ready um, but anyway I'm going to start the weekly vlog here so I'd introduce it, I had just got up from a nap although I definitely could have stayed in bed longer I really need a wee but there's someone fixing the shower door so that's my dilemma at the moment <laughs> thought I'd vlog tonight, I'm going to a UV rave thing tonight um, don't really know what to expect um, but I'm very excited I've got the girls coming around here before for pre's and to get ready I think I'm not entirely sure what the deal is um, but yeah it's going to be a good night so without further ado let's roll on this week's weekly vlog so I am just about to start getting ready for my UV for my UV party for my UV freshers event I'm so excited Chloe's on her way over she's just got the bus to come to my flat she's staying over tonight um, because she lives like other side of Leicester so it's convenient if she stays so she's on her way over I'm gonna quickly straighten my hair before I go and meet her um, she might be in the vlog if she's comfortable with being in the vlog we'll see I'm literally so buzzed for tonight there's tonight and Tuesday night's event which you have to carry on watching to see what event that is that I'm most excited about like I literally cannot wait so let's start getting ready <laughs> you're to despair <laughs> 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 Let me hear. <laughs> I, I know, know why. Right? I don't, I don't know, know what you're looking, looking for. for. <laughs> My channel. How are you feeling now? I'm still so pissed. <laughs> so pissed. Boy yeah. dramas. Yeah. I'm running from your problems, hand. Oh my man, I'd love for you, baby. As you can tell, Hannah should have been a singer. Finished look. <laughs> you look beautiful, Hannah. I'll put your shoes on this time. Choking on your ass. Yes, girl, yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna get a text from my flatmate in a minute, being like, shut the fuck up, Hannah. <laughs> I'm coming out of my cage and I'm into the just fine I'm not even drunk. Let's let's ignore what I look like. I'm not even gonna apologize. Um, this is Monday. I was out last night. I had such a good night. Like I have not had a night out that good in so long. Um, I was just like so happy. Basically, I had Chloe and Tash around to get ready and for pre's, and I think I got some footage on camera of us just like singing when we were like round here. 
um, singing our little hearts out and then we went, went round to um, someone at my old accommodations flat um, he was like oh I'm having pre's like there's loads of us here so we went over there and there was loads of them there um, it was literally a flat full of guys there was like three of us girls and then we just went down to the club headed over to the club and it was such a good night so it was a massive group of us we all just sort of like danced the night away um, I've got some clips on my phone like it was just such a good night um, and now I look a state for it now so I got recognised from my YouTube channel last night and I just found that so mad like more than once people came up to me and they were like I really recognise you like do you do YouTube or something like I think I follow you and I was like oh my god this is so weird yeah I do it um, and that's just a really odd concept to me but really cool at the same time Chloe was like damn girl like you're getting recognised for doing like your YouTube I was like <laughs> do you right um, but yeah that happened and it was just a really good night I met some lovely people and yeah, Chloe's still here, she is currently in the shower, we're going to get ready and we're going to head down to um, campus because it's society's day today and I want to sign up to, to <laughs> what just came out of my mouth, <laughs> um, to some societies today, so yeah, that should be fun, um, and then we're going to do, well, just going to go around town for a bit, I think, um, I've, I'm really hungry and really want breakfast, but I came back last night and ate half a pizza that we had left over so I'm like I really can't justify having breakfast because that was basically my breakfast and my lunch so I'm gonna try and not think about it but yeah I have rambled so I will pick you back up when probably we're in campus I'm not entirely sure but thought I'd catch up on last night and it was a really good night I'm just so happy to be back ba happy to be back here back in Leicester back with my friends and everything so yeah Hello everyone, so I have just got back from, I say just got back from Freshers Fair, I've also just got back from town because that's where I was even, um, and Chloe has just left me, I look a bit of a state because I, and I feel a bit of a state, um, Freshers Fair was really good, I basically didn't go last year because I didn't know anyone and I wasn't confident enough to go by myself, but this year a group of us went down which was really nice, um, I got lots of freebies, um, lots of free food vouchers, lots of free drink vouchers um, and stuff like that, and... I've got a big bag over there of stuff like full full of everything I picked up. I will probably show you later if I remember. Um, and then I just went into town with the girls for a bit. And now I'm back and I was walking around town. And basically I woke up this morning and I was like adamant. I didn't feel like ill or anything. And I was just tired. And then I was walking around town and I hadn't eaten. And basically if I don't eat breakfast or if I just don't eat in general, I will pass out or I'll get very faint. Um, and I was walking around High Cross Centre at the shopping centre near me. And I was like, I need to go home and make myself food because I really don't feel well. So I just come back and made myself some food. Um, and I've got a big cup of tea, which I think is what I need to sort me out. And then I'm going to shut my eyes. But yeah, I thought I would check in with you. Normally I'm a massive lightweight, but last night the drink just didn't touch me. So those Snapchats, I was more or less sober. Like I was tipsy, but that was it. Um, and I, don't, I didn't get a video of it because my, I disabled my phone somehow. Um, but the Friends theme tune came on and basically we were out with this, like a bunch of lads and then me and a couple of girls and the girls know how obsessed I am with Friends and all of a sudden like I know every word to the Friends theme tune and I literally I was like this is my song like don't take my limelight away from me and you just have these group of lads staring at me like what the like what the hell how does she know all the words to this um don't know if they're impressed or slightly like concerned at my obsession but who knows anyway that happened um and yeah, I just sort of lost my shit when friends came on. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really good night out. I'm out again tonight at another club, which should be fun. But before then, I am going to nap because I've only had like three hours sleep. And also go to the gym because I feel like if I go to the gym, I will feel better. Basically, I've not eaten because I feel bad about eating. And I know I really shouldn't. Um, this is what goes through my head when I've had a drink, guys. I just won't eat because I'll feel bad, but then I get even more ill. So I'll go to the gym and I'll be fine. I will check in with you guys when I'm getting ready. And guys, welcome back to Tuesday's Park Vlog. I'm very aware that there has been a big jump in the last time I picked you up. Basically, I got ready last night um, for the freshers ball. Bear in mind, like I was out the night before and I had like a cracking time. And then last night, um, during the day, I hadn't really eaten a lot. And then I went around to Tash's and we had had we made ourselves pasta because we were like, if we're going out, like we need to eat. And I ate and I didn't feel great so I was like oh I'm not going to drink loads. I tend to not really need to drink much anyway um, to enjoy myself. Um, and I literally like did my makeup and everything and I'm so annoyed because my makeup looks so good and my outfit was so good. Like head on over to my Instagram to see because I was so happy. Um, and literally I had 
one drink and I have never been so sick. I have no idea what it was because it's not even like I could, like it was sick from drinking too much because one drink literally like never affects me unless it's like a really strong drink. Um, so I have no idea what happened yesterday. I think maybe it's because I had pasta. Basically I got to Tash's, I had to have a chocolate digestive because I thought I was going to pass out and then not long after I had pasta and maybe it just didn't sit well in my stomach or something but something happened and it was not a pleasant experience when I got home but that happened which is so annoying because I so wanted to enjoy last night um, but you know I'm out again tonight, tonight's one that I'm excited for to be fair I'm happy I came home slightly earlier because I think I came home at like midnight or just after maybe like half twelve um, which then meant as soon as I got in my head hit the pillow and I was out like a light so I have had more sleep tonight last night even have had more sleep so hopefully <laughs> um I can power on like and get have a better night tonight better day I literally haven't like word from it right now I have no idea what's coming out of my mouth um anyway I'm gonna sit and eat my breakfast I'm gonna try and keep my food fairly plain today but make sure I keep topped up because I think that's where I went wrong um and yeah I will I think I'm going to be going into town in a bit because I need to get some stuff for tonight. Basically tonight is a zoo themed party and I don't really have anything zoo themed. I have a nice shirt but I don't want to wear it because every night I've got stuff thrown at me. Like you know when people in club, like clubs they buy accidentally spill drinks and it's just gone on me and I don't want to ruin the shirt. So I think I might have a look for like a skirt or something because I know I'll wear it again. Um, and then I can wear that tonight. Um, but yeah I will pick you guys back up once I've eaten my breakfast and drunk some water because I think that's what I need. So I, I have just got back from going into town and my voice, I feel like, you know it sounds worse in your head than it actually does in real life, but I feel like I sound really like ill. In my head I do anyway. Anyway, I just popped into town. Um, I got a weird array of things. I had to go and get some, an outfit for tonight or a skirt for tonight. Um, I asked mum like what she thought I should get. She told me to get the skirt, so I got the skirt, which I'll show you in a second. Let me pop you down and I'll show you the skirt. <laughs> This was the skirt that I got. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's literally just a leopard print denim skirt from Topshop. They actually have a 20% off like student deal at the moment because it's normally 10 I think in Topshop. Um, so I literally got like, I don't know how much it came to in the end. I think it was like just over 20 quid and it was meant to be 30. So I was like, yes. And the girl that served me was so lovely. We were having a conversation about um, uni and stuff and whatever. She was really nice. Anyway, I picked that up and also it is the best fitting skirt I've ever picked up or best fitting denim skirt I've ever picked up because skirts just don't fit me. I'm a weird, like, because I'm quite small and petite, they're, they'll always be big on my waist regardless of what size I get. Like, it always seems to be that way. Um, and I have, like, three... No, I have four denim skirts. They're all different, like, it's fine. Um, but they are all, like, massive around my waist and they're all size sixes and I always have to either, like put darts in them or like wear a belt or something but this fits me perfectly and it's from the um petite section which I think might be why and it's a size four um and all of my other ones are size sixes because I can never find size fours so I'm happy with that and that it actually fits me and I don't need to take it in that up as well and I just dropped it on the floor <laughs> um I also popped Tesco's because I needed to get some what did I get I needed to get some eggs and I also needed to get a couple of drinks because I mean, I think I'm drinking tonight, but I don't know if I am, if I'm drinking tonight, because I still feel like crap. I've been so excited for this event, so I really hope I feel better. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm going to do some vlog stuff. Also, I woke up to 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is my current setup right now, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and University work. I'm just sat doing some bits and bobs for University. I'm just getting some ideas down for my next project. I'm just going to get some stuff done now because I've got lots of emails all of a sudden about next week and I get really like flustered and stressed so I'm just trying to like slowly work my way through it and not get flustered and stressed. So that's what I'm doing right now. This is low-key why boys don't fancy me. So let's not talk about what I look like. Um, but I think the last time I picked you up I was like, I just got back from my run. Hence why I was like red and sweaty and gross. Um, I'm still kind of gross because I've got nothing on my face and my hair's piled on top of my head. But anyway, um, as I was coming back from my run, I got some exciting news. Well, exciting news for me anyway. I basically didn't say anything in last week's vlog and I haven't said anything so far yet. But I had an interview on Sunday just at a bar because I've worked in bars before and I was like, it'll be nice to like get some weekend work, like keep my money topped up because I like spending it. So, um, and I got the job and I'm so happy like I don't know if I was expecting to get it or not but I feel like it went really well like I got along with them really well so yeah I got the job so I've got now got some like weekend bar work which I'm really happy about 
that is what I wanted to say and also like that's just sort of like top things off at the moment things I was I had a little bit of a cry earlier or I got quite tearful not because I was sad but just because I, I'm like overwhelmed with happiness at the moment it's gonna sound like really cringy but let's have a little cringe chat basically I mentioned it before on my channel and I'm fairly open about it I've suffered with I'm really hot um, I've suffered with my mental health for as long as I can remember for as long as I can remember and since coming back to Leicester like I have never been happier I can handle my heart say that I am the happiest I have been in such a long time like I'm not even joking when I say my cheeks hurt like they physically hurt from where I've been like smiling for a week and a half like I've just been so happy like I don't want to jinx it I've got a new job I'm back at uni back in Leicester I'm like out every day with friends like my YouTube's going well, my blog's going well. I'm just so happy and like for the first time in a long time, like I'm genuinely like not f being fake happy if that makes sense. Like a lot of the time over the past few years, I've just sort of not pretended to be happy, but you know when you're just happy so that other people don't worry about you. I feel like that's what I've been like. And now I can safely say that like, I'm genuinely like so happy at the moment. Um, and yeah, I feel like also another thing is that I've always, it's going to get really deep and personal, <laughs> um, I've always sort of felt like the need for like validation from other people to feel worthy in a way, and for the first time like I don't feel that, I don't feel like I need anyone's like approval or validation or anything, like I'm, yeah, I don't know, it's really weird, but I, yeah, I can keep saying it, I'm just happy, like, I don't even know. I was just walking down to Tasha's to go and grab my stuff and my eyes were like welling up. I was like, I don't didn't even know like at the start of the year when I was like I don't want don't know what to do anymore. Like I was I don't know, I don't wanna say it because I don't wanna like be depressing in this vlog or like down but I was just wasn't happy. I was not in a good place at all. I didn't see that there was gonna be any improvement in my life in a way. I saw no light, like it was a bad time for me and long and behold like 10 months down 10 months yeah we're nearly in october 10 months down the line i'm literally a different person and oh my god it's the best thing ever like i can't even oh i'm so happy <laughs> um anyway enough of me rambling i've got another night out tonight i'm sure there'll be some more snapchat story in here too i've got an excuse to have a drink because um i've got a new job not that i need an excuse to drink um and it's a zoo theme party i think i mentioned that already i've got chloe and tash coming around here in a bit um and I'm also going to quickly FaceTime my mum. But yeah, I might put you back up on my shelf. That's the phrase I was looking for while we're getting ready. I was editing that footage the other day and I honestly found it so hilarious um, of us just getting ready and dancing around. So I rambled on enough in this clip. Um, yeah, I'm going to go make myself some dinner and call my mum and my dad because I'm going to talk to them and I've not spoken to them in a while. So yeah. <laughs> You are Jay. See how I'm this week. Oh no, I'm just kind of stood here and I'm <laughs> in front of the camera. I've been fucking holes and popping pillies, man. I feel just like a rock star. Let's see them. Take my scalpels. <laughs> I've never heard of what I'm doing. My parents watch this, they'll be so happy that this is on my playlist. <laughs> 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 There's a waitress in a cocktail bar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have to pose. Just me in the background while she's moving. <laughs> <laughs> Your booty pics are like when you're trying to get it. It's just like an impressive pose. Okay, well someone's all that gifted. <laughs> <laughs> Time to move your body.
morning guys I have pretty much lost my voice um, anyway I've just woken up clothes in the shower at the moment um, and I think I have no idea what footage I got last night I feel like I recorded quite a bit on my phone I really don't remember if I'm completely honest I'm gonna keep it real um, it was such a good night I didn't get back until well, I didn't go to sleep until like 4 and it's currently like 9 so I've not had a lot of sleep, but you know, we're gonna roll with it. I've got stuff to do, Chloe's got stuff to do, so that's the situation right now. Um, it was so funny, we got back, basically we got food and then came back. And I was so tired that I was literally just talking about absolute, like, crap. Like, Chloe was talking to me about one thing, and basically I've had university on my mind, like, all week, and I'm studying knitwear. And I was like replying to her conversation and then all of a sudden I'd come out with something about knitting or knitting machines and I was like, right, I need to go to sleep because I know that I'm talking absolute crap but I don't really know what's coming out of my mouth and I've never been like that before. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would check in with you guys because I don't actually know the last time I picked you up. Um, I'll put some footage in of last night's event to get ready because me and Chloe are both going to go and grab some breakfast. And yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me there anyway. Hey guys, so it has been... Uh, well, since I picked you up, I went out for breakfast with Chloe. She caught me up on the antics of last night. I didn't even realise I did half of the stuff that I did. Apparently I drunk called my ex. Apparently I cried over my ex. Had no idea. Um, so that was fun. We love a drunk queen. Um, but it was a really good night by the sounds of it. I was basically fifth wheeling as well, which is fine. I'm used to it by now. I'm now very tired. Chloe just left, so I am going to shut my eyes. And then I just want to keep myself busy because I just don't feel 100% and it's because I've had a drink that I'm a bit like, I don't feel great, like mentally, don't feel great. So I'm going to have a nap, have something to have some lunch and then I might edit, do some blog stuff. I've got some uni work to do still and then go to the gym. I think I just need to keep myself busy because if I sit around and think about stuff, I'm just gonna make myself feel worse I do think I'm gonna have a night in tonight because I have had three nights out in a row so I'm really feeling it um it's the pub crawl tomorrow so I definitely want to do that I think I might be out Friday so I think if I have a rest tonight it means I can go to the gym come back have a little pamper evening do a face mask put on some fake tan and just feel like better about myself because I think that's what I need. Um, I just spoke to Dad on the phone as well. I've not really spoken to Dad because whenever I call at heart, like FaceTime Mum, um, he's either like out running or like busy or I just haven't really spoken to him basically since I moved out. It was really nice to talk to him and like when he called, I, he probably couldn't tell but I got a bit like choked up because I do miss, obviously I miss everyone at home, like particularly my parents. I'm going to get really emotional talking about it. I don't want to cry. Oh, I am fine. How funny that yesterday I was like, oh, I'm so happy and I am so happy. I don't know why I'm crying. I'm crying because I'm tired. This is what happens when I go out late, like a lot. <laughs> I get over emotional. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go and shut my eyes and sort myself out. Um, I also, I was saying yesterday that like how I'm, for the first time I actually feel confident and stuff and I do. But last night, or basically on all of the nights out, it sounds so stupid, but all of my friends, they've like got with guys or like they've been with guys and I haven't, and don't get me wrong, I'm not the type of girl to go around like, and get with guys in a club, that's really not my cup of tea, but they've all got male attention and you know it just makes you think, oh, well, what's wrong with me? <laughs> that's what's been going around my head and it never normally bothers me, I think it's just bothering me because I'm really tired and... I'm just overreacting to things and I just need to tell myself there's nothing wrong with me. I don't want to find people in clubs anyway. It's not my cup of tea. And I just need to stop being a bit of a drama queen. <laughs> okay. Deep breath. I'm going to have a nap. It's been a long time since I picked you guys up. I actually can't remember like when I last picked you up. I'm going to sit down because I'm lazy. I've edited this week's vlog and also a new blog post has gone live. And it's one of my favourite blog posts. It's all about like autumn fashion trends and stuff there's always a link to my blog like down below if you're interested in that sort of stuff and my mum sent me a text saying that she really enjoyed it and it was a really nice message and it made me cry again i'm very over emotional tonight um i feel a bit lonely as well i don't want to get upset again i think i just need an early night to be honest um oh my god i need to pull myself together i'm going oh god i'm gonna go and grab a shower and 
and I'm gonna fake tan myself feel better and I think I'm just gonna sit and watch some Netflix or something um and then I'm gonna get a very early night I think I'm meeting Tasha breakfast tomorrow so that would be nice but yeah I'm sorry this part like today's vlog has been me basically being a bit of a mess this is what happens when I drink and it's exactly why I don't drink a lot um but yeah I will pick you guys back up in the morning good morning guys welcome to what day is it today Thursday is part of the vlog oh my goodness this week has gone quickly um I have woken up in a much better mood this morning I literally just think I needed to sleep because I basically have not slept since um like last Friday just wrapping out so much I've had probably like two three hours sleep most nights so I was definitely feeling it which I think is why I felt so crappy last night anyway I feel a lot better this morning um I've written myself a list of things I need to get done today. I feel like that would just keep me busy as well. But first things first, I'm going to go and shower, get myself ready. And then, oh, it's society's day. I completely forgot about that. So I need to shower, get ready. And then I'm going to go meet Tash for breakfast. Um, I possibly think there might be some others coming out with us. I'm not entirely sure. And then I'm guessing we're going to go straight to societies because I know that there's some societies that me and Tash want to sign up to. Um, my dad keeps telling me to sign up for amateur dramatics because I don't think I mentioned it on this channel before but basically I did acting or theatre school for like 10 years I want to say like I did it for a long time um, and then I sort of gave it up maybe like three years ago now um, but I've been in West End I've done lots of shows and things like that um, and then when I gave it up I literally lost all my confidence in it and dad was like oh I think it'll really help you even if I don't do like the actual stage stuff I just help with like stage set and whatever so I might give that a go but I'll keep you guys updated that is for sure um but yeah I'm going to go and get myself ready and then we'll see what happens next so I am dressed and ready to go and meet Tash for breakfast I have a feeling we're going to Bill's for breakfast because basically all week we've been saying that we want to go to Bill's for breakfast because I know we both want pancakes even though I probably won't end up with pancakes I never do um but yeah I'm gonna head off and meet her got my embroidered boots on today but this is like the first wear out this autumn and I'm so happy so happy to have them on again because they're literally my favorite shoe in my wardrobe um anyway I'm gonna stop rambling and gonna go and get some breakfast because it's currently nearly 10 o'clock and I'm absolutely starving I've normally eating breakfast by now so let's go get some food so I've just got back from the society's fair which was loads of fun I got some like kind of crappy footage on my phone but it was literally ram packed in there i decided to join a few this year because basically last year i didn't join any because i didn't have the balls to go along um but this year i have joined the bloggers society as obviously i run a blog um and they're also trying to branch out into vlogging so i was like oh i'll join that because i think it'll be good for me and i can meet some more like fellow vloggers and bloggers and i've also put my name down for amateur dramatics like i said i would um that'll make my dad happy so i might go along to that if i have the confidence to do it because that's the one that I'm most nervous about because I've literally not done any acting in like three years now like it's been a long long time um, and then also me and Tash both signed up to cheer because we both really want to do cheer um, like I said I've done theatre and I've also done dance for a lot of my life um, and I kind of want to get back into it and I figured like cheer is something kind of new so definitely want to do cheer definitely going to do the blogging one if I have some balls might do <laughs> the um, amdram but we'll see Anyway, it was a load of fun. Always went out for breakfast and had my acai bowl, of course. But yeah, it's been a really nice morning. It's been productive. And I'm now going to sit down and I need to finish off some stuff for my new job, actually, um, like paperwork. So I'm already going to have such a busy, busy year this year. Like I can already tell, like second year is the year that counts. I'm doing societies. I've got a job. Like I'm doing blogging, YouTube. <laughs> it's a bit overwhelming, but I'm enjoying it. Anyway, I am going to go and get some more stuff done. So this is my current art student setup. I have a load of pictures that I'm currently going through. Of course, I have YouTube on in the background. Um, I have just popped down to the library to print off a load of secondary research for when I go back. I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but that's basically what I went to do. Um, I haven't been down to the library since like April, so as well we're going in there again. And my card didn't let me out for some reason, so I was trapped in the library until someone came to rescue me to let me out. I'm gonna sit and do my secondary research stuff 
um, because time starts on Monday and I'm absolutely terrified um, and I was stressing out a bit today but I have just had my student finance text come through which means that come Monday I will have my loan which is very exciting. I've got my dinner in the oven at the moment, I've got a jacket potato tonight and then I will start to get ready after dinner so I might prop you up somewhere and do a cheeky time lapse but it's literally like me getting ready on my own today because Chloe and well Chloe's not coming Tash is gonna get ready at hers and then I'll just go around and meet her anyway and the others probably meet them at SU I'm not entirely sure One eye that's gone fleeky and the other one hasn't. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> this is when I realised that my concentration face is really, really ugly. So I need to do kind of quick because I am meant to have left by now. Um, basically I am ready, I have no idea if this lighting is doing me any justice and I'm not sure if I like my lip colour but we're just going to have to go with it. My top is also incredibly bright, I want to say brighter than my future but I say that too much. Um, anyway, I am going to head out to tonight's bar crawl. I realise I haven't really spoke much today but it's been a very like, productive day for myself getting uni stuff done. I'll pick you up while I'm out, I will see you tomorrow but I probably will pick you up. So yeah, let's go on a pub crawl which I'm really excited about actually. Good morning guys, welcome to Friday's part of the vlog. I'm gonna have to excuse what I look like, I've been blown around this morning um basically i woke up really early there's um the sky was really blue and i basically need to get some like primary research for my up and coming uni project so i'm currently out getting that for the moment so i would say good morning um, i'm gonna get this done and then head to the gym which is why i currently have like no makeup on and everything i'm really sorry if the last clip ended really abruptly but basically i was um walking through let me sit down. I was walking through the court, uh, churchyard when I last picked you up and this like dodgy man was staring at me because there was like a few homeless people in the church like grounds. Anyway, one of them was staring at me. So I was like, okay, like, let's put one of my cameras away because I, I had two in my hand. I had my vlogging one and then my big one. Um, so I stopped vlogging, which is why it ended really abruptly. And then he came over and spoke to me and he was like, oh, are you taking pictures? And me being the sarcastic person I am was very tempted to turn around and say, no, I just like to walk around with two cameras in my hand for no reason. I literally, it, I was taking pictures and had two cameras in my hand. And then he asked me if I was taking pictures. I was polite and everything. And I was like, oh yeah, like it's my degree and everything. And he was nice enough, but yeah. Anyway, that's what happened, which is why it ended really abruptly and I put one of my cameras away. Anyway, I'm now going to, what time is it? It's just gone nine. It's still really early. Um, I'm just going to get myself changed and head over to the gym. Quick update for you guys. I currently look like a five-year-old because I have my hair in pigtails. Um, but I don't know if I've picked you up since I got back from the gym, if I'm completely honest. Um, I had a very good workout at the gym. I feel like I really needed it because I missed a day yesterday. I say I needed it. I've basically been in the gym every day since I got here. But anyway, it was good regardless. I'm back now. Um, I have had my lunch, I had salad, shock, we love a health queen, um, and done some work. I spoke to my mum, um, FaceTime my mum, and now I'm going to head into town because I need to get some important things. Jokes, I just need a tanning net, which is fairly important, I would say. And yeah, that was something else. Also, I've just been paid. So basically, I have a job back home, like I'm a waitress back home, um, when I'm back home in Brighton. And I didn't even realise that like I had another payday to come and today was that payday so I literally woke up from my nap like 10 minutes ago and basically just checked my um, bank account because my rent hasn't been taken out yet so I need to go and sort that out as well um not the point but I checked it and I was like I swear I was like not didn't have that much in my account like yesterday I was like how has that gone up because my student loan hasn't come through either yet and then I checked who I've been paid by and it was my old work and I was like oh, I completely forgotten so that was a nice Friday surprise um 
But yeah, I'm gonna head into town. Can't believe I'm going to town looking like this because admittedly I do look like a bit of a say. Um, I really can't be bothered to put any makeup on. I'm not going anywhere like important or seeing anyone today. So I was like, there's really not much point in wasting a face of makeup. So we're just gonna roll with it. And I also need to find my glasses because I can't see a thing. And I don't actually know where they are. I found them. Right, I was just getting changed, putting my jeans on to go out. And basically, when I moved in, I didn't think I had underbed storage. This is gonna be a really boring story, but I've just found out that I do have underbed storage. I was sat here looking at it, and basically, there's like these little like hole things here. And I literally, I just sat here, and when I moved in, I tried to like pull it out like a drawer, and it wasn't coming out, so I was like, oh, maybe it's like a fake drawer. Aesthetics and all of that. But I was like, no, it can't be. And literally, I just lifted it up, and I have to lift like the entire bed up. But I have under bed storage, which makes my life a lot easier because I currently have like art supplies dotted all around my room, so I can put them under there. That is very exciting. Like, I feel like this is quality vlog content, like me getting very overexcited over the fact that I have under bed storage. <laughs> I'm such an adult, it actually hurts. Another standard Friday night for hand pizza from Brooklyn Nine Nine. Love that. I also burnt my hand making pizza and now it really hurts. Hey guys, so I'm actually going to end this week's vlog here. Um it is Friday as I'm ending this, but as it stands, like I just edited this vlog and it's like 36 minutes or something. Um, so I'm not going to vlog this weekend, to be fair, it's just going to be a weekend of getting ready for uni and stuff like that because term starts on Monday, so next week's vlog will be my first week back at uni. Um, I'm very aware that this vlog has kind of been a bit all over the place. Uh, most of it has been filmed in here, alongside like nights out and things. Like I've not done much else, but it has been Freshers Week, so yeah. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe, and yeah, I will see you all in next week's vlog.